Well, Bloomberg put up an article saying, you know, uh, Barstool leader like says he has coronavirus, and the stock dipped 3% instantly. And then but I got, it's back, right? It's I like, don't know. I, got, I checked I it when I saw your tweet that you had insider trading. You had to Erica tweet. Nardini called me quick fast and was like, you got to take that down. Because I think, I mean, it was a, it's little, a great idea. Is it like Dave, six just, just fucking say you're about to die. But I'll say this about Dave. Cult leaders don't die is a great fucking book. <laughs> and he, he worked it at the very end. He was just like dead silent. I thought the video was just going to end. And he's just like. Cult leaders don't fucking die from COVID. That's a pussy way to go out. Cult leaders don't die. <laughs> There's a t-shirt. <laughs> it's going to take the fucking National Guard to get me out of here. All right. Buy the dip if you want. Fucking I don't care. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, you think this is going to fucking take me out? I got fucking COVID right where I fucking want it. I'm lying down. It thinks I'm going out. I'm fucking got it in a reverse chokehold. Partying and fucking and shit. <laughs> it's not like he has coronavirus. I think he's just being an asshole. I think he's being a 45-year-old trying to be a 21-year-old like he always is, and it's eventually going to catch up with him. Once in traffic in Florida, had a couple, there was a black couple, they pulled up next to me and said, roll your window down, roll your window down. And they were having an argument and they pointed to the billboard and said, do you say that gyro or Eero? And I said, I say Eero. And the, the wife was like, see, I told you. And then they drove off. And he was probably pissed off. He was pissed off. That yeah. fucking white dude. <laughs> he fucked me over. My name is Brandon Walker and I am the host of Pick Central. Um, the gambling show every day on Sirius 85. Barstool's Sirius Radio Station. You just got that was appointed to that position by Dave Portnoy, who came up with the show and decided I was the one who should host the gambling show on Barstool Power 85, Sirius. That was his choice. Could have chose anybody, but he didn't. Chose me. Yes? Brandon, did you see a, a blog that just dropped? I think a lot of blogs drop on the site. It was, uh, it sounded like it was kind of calling out another gambling show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so apparently Blackjack and Laduca have launched Hitting the Board, a gambling show. Congratulations to those guys. So do you think with the time that they're spending on the blog, they'll have time to be on the radio show? Well, that's a question for them. I, I, I don't know. But to be on the radio show, it does require attendance in the office. Uh, on Monday... Hitting the board or bending the board or something like that. Uh, there's a couple of butthurt people that are allowed to come to the office and aren't coming to the office that can be on a certain radio show called Pick Central. They didn't decide to come in and be on it. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. They came out with a show at 11.45 with uh, real gambling stats because everyone comes to Barstool Sports for the statistics. And speak my point of view, but it's not safe. Hello, it is Pick Central, Brussels Fake Gambling Show. I am Brandon Walker. <laughs> we got Rico Bosco, we got Big Cat, Marty Mush is here. Hi, everybody. How was everybody's weekend? I'm bored. Are you? Yeah, this show's boring. No? We're <laughs> <laughs> throwing yeah. options. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to hit the board somewhere else. I, I, you know what? I don't know if I like words to the people at home. I don't know if I like being on the show with the two biggest personalities at the bar stool. I don't think so. Who, Rico and Brandon? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. 90's got to go to 100. You got to go 100 hours a week. I don't know if you'll be able to do it. You might die. I said Try one time during an argument with Dave that I worked 90 hours a week. I didn't mean it. I just sort of said oh, you mean I was it. playing defense. Oh, I was playing you mean defense. It. Anyone who's Very been around much. this office knows that Mr. Mr. 90 likes to talk about how hard he works. I'm not worthy of a response. Correct. You were not worthy of a so response. So I can work 90 hours a week here and do every fucking response. show. I'm not worthy of a fucking response. Eight three three eight five Sewell is the number to call and give us some picks. Anybody else out there that wants to call and give picks or be on the show, they can. If they work at Barstool, that's fine. 
Um, oh, it's the thing that you gotta do a little petty show. That's what you do when you're uh, 20 years old. Your, <laughs> your arm is throwing me off. I he fell down the stairs, stairs this morning. Oh. New socks. Uh, we responded that, hey, we have an entertaining show. Uh, the office is open. You're allowed to come. Barstool doesn't work where it's like, hey, I have to wait to be asked to do something, and you go and do it. I'm here at the office. I go on the show. That's how it is. I mean, what they did was petty. Paula Duca keeps saying, hey, keep me out of it, but you did a petty thing. What, what, what are we doing? We work at Barstool. We talk about things. But you know what? It doesn't bother me. I went 7-1. and one. Are they going to put it out every day right before Pick Central? Is that what the deal is? They're trying to... That would be hilarious. I, I don't think they're that. capable of being hilarious. I commend... Oh. I, I don't. That's why you don't have a why show. Call, why don't you have one of them call in? Let them call in. Laduka, Blackjack, tell call in. Talk about your show. Text them and call, don't call in. Oh, oh they're, they're, Blackjack's listening. Hash it out. Of course he's What are we hashing out? What do you mean? What? Hey, you're you're bothered. Your I'm not show. bothered. I just think it's it's it's... it's Interesting. So Blackjack called, and he told us that uh, had nothing to do with Pick Central, and he wasn't mad that I chose Rico to be on the show a couple of weeks ago, even though this is clearly an answer to me choosing Rico. Sorry, guys. I know there's beef there between Blackjack, LaDuke, and Rico, but Rico is here. I've seen him, and he's very entertaining. Dave, Dave asked me to do an entertaining gambling show. Rico Bosco is entertaining. Love him or hate him. That guy knows how to entertain. So I grabbed him. Had nothing to do with them. They start their own show. Whatever. It's an interesting move. Let out the real words. Yeah, it's just say it. it is okay, Frankenstein cheats the trivia. Just fucking say yeah, it. Right. These guys are. These guys have got their feelings hurt because I let Rico on the fucking show. Well, guess what? Rico's entertaining, so he's here. He's also willing to fucking be in the building, and you guys aren't. So what? What do you want me to do? You're yeah. gonna start a new show rather than come in here and do your fucking job. You're gonna start a new show. That's bullshit. What are we doing? All right. Welcome to the first episode of Hitting the Board, new gambling show here at Barstool Sports, where uh, in a novel concept, we are actually going to spend our time talking about gambling on a gambling show. I know that may be strange to a lot of people, but that's what we're going to try to do here. Uh, Pick Central is better than uh, jerking the board because it's literally, no one comes to, like, if you really think you're, they're good gamblers, they're just not. I mean... The best part about us is we are bad gamblers, but when we win, it's awesome. Because <laughs> I went 7-1, almost, I was looking at a mariachi band. I booked them for an hour, but I lost one game. It's just, I mean, that's what we do. We, we First hour, we talk about sports. We have serious sports talk, but then we get into some crazy topics, and then we gamble. I mean, that's what we do. Do you feel a little bit more pressure? Me? Yeah. No, I'm the winningest gambler on the show. But do you feel a little more pressure knowing... I forgot about more Rico, <laughs> Do you feel a little bit pressure knowing that if Riggs and Laduka and Blackjack have winners... I'll tell you what, if the 25 people that listen to their show also listen to Pick Central, I hope those 25 people are able because to... See, here's the thing. Fired. I got no... I got no I'm not worried because I'm a shitty gambler no matter what. Correct. That's... Right. That's the We're not, so like, none of us are here. My reputation isn't on the line of being a good gambler, but yours. No, it is. isn't. There's not a person yeah, in this. There's not a person in the studio who's here because of his prowess as a gambler. My, well, there's not a person in this company. That's you. Yeah, you. It, do you think anybody in this company was you. hired because they're a good you. gambler? You think I was? You. I went over eight my first night. I know. I bet all. Of them. <laughs> I still think I'm a good gambler, but. Well, I'm you shouldn't. You shouldn't think that. I'm a fucking I'm shitty ass. I know. Hold on, we gotta step in here. You, you really think that? I'm a piece of shit. Every gambler. bet I put in, I'm like, yeah, I'm in. This yeah. is it. Bag, weirdo, I, I hit 100 percent of the bets that I think. I'm like, yeah, this is it. What? Yep. <laughs> this episode of Stool Scenes is brought to you by Owens Craft Mixers. I'm not a mixologist. I'm not a bartender. I'm not Tom Cruise in cocktail. When I want a little craft cocktail for myself, I just pick up a bottle of Owens and then I mix it with a little bit of liquor and it's that simple. For example, this mint cucumber and lime will make you a delicious mojito. A little bit of rum, a little bit of Owens craft mixers, and there you have a night. You don't need to be Tom Cruise and cocktail to enjoy the lifestyle of Tom Cruise and cocktail. Get some for yourself today at owensmixers.com. Can you draw, Marty? Well, maybe I already have that up. Hold on. 
What company do we work at? <laughs> that doesn't work? No. What is this for? Are we, is, this, is this an anti scales drawing? Yeah, of course. What are we doing? Just setting some things up. Look at this. Look at the attention to detail. Got a little team guy. Jeff, have you uh, drawn a line in the sand yet? For what? The boys. Jeff's a guy. Jeff's one of my guys. Oh, for with, with Rico? Yeah. That's not even a question. He's drawing a line right now. Rico, you mean the guy who picked fucking Morikawa to win the PGA Championship? Damn right. I think you look slim, name. <laughs> just do your job. So what are you diagramming? <laughs> Put on some Rico. Fun. What? What are you diagramming here? We're just doing a scoreboard. Gambling is scoreboard. Dana asked me to comment on some things. Scoreboard is what matters. We'll set up a little scoreboard here. So you're going to illustrate it visually? Yeah, I got some stats. Is that the emoji? Yeah, we go with the emoji. Make it simple. Looks like a mushroom. What about the origin of Skell? Origin of Skell? It's like a very much New York City thing. I definitely didn't come up with it, but it's like, uh, I mean, you kind of know what it is. I do, but I'd never heard of it before I met you. Yeah. Well, I made it popular. I should have trademarked the fucking thing. But, like, I don't know. You're a skell. Like, you're fucking, you know. Never the guy who has the money, you don't split the cabs. Like, just common decency type shit. <laughs> and then Twitter. Twitter skells. I have a hot clip of Dave doing actually Twitter skells. Let me see if What's a hot clip? Like, uh, it's in my favorites. I put it on the, like, hot clips I call. Eat Twitter skells. <laughs> Twitter skills. <laughs> <laughs> Play it again. Twitter skills. <laughs> That's your copyright. Yeah. Who's like a fucking moron? He didn't know who I was. I look like a fucking moron. <laughs> they do. He looks scary. I try to. First of all, what do we have on the board? Uh, it's, so gonna far. Be all, it's gonna be on scoreboard. I'm a visual learner. My friend Martin Mush, co-host. He's a visual learner, so we'll just do some uh, some visual learning today. Right now, it's a. Uh, Nationally broadcasted show, and uh, kind of like a, a, an off-brand uh, Shoprite version, some would say. Our show is uh, plus 36.13 units. Money for the people at home. Tough market. A unit is what? What you bet, right? Yep. Okay, so that's a lot. Yeah. What I'm hearing is the record is 20, 25, and one. Tough edge. <laughs> Bosco's. Use a different marker. <laughs> there are, oh, there's no. Use the blue one. Use the blue one? Marker's trash. Marker is trash. That one's trash too. Hold on. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> no, it'll work. It'll work. All right. We are, as a team, because I'm a team guy, 36.13 units. Okay. Not bad. Now, I would know, but what I'm hearing is they're 20, 25, and 1. So you do the math there, let's say roughly. Five edge, team guy. Edge, pick center. All right, and what about uh, overall chemistry and entertainment value? Let's get away from numbers for a second. <laughs> One for every host, and actually probably two minuses. So that's a big, you know, kind of running away with it. Viewers, you like the numbers? Viewers, followers, I should say, forty-eight k, three hundred fifty-three followers. Again, Edge, Pick Central. Combined, I think we have, I don't know, when you get into the millions, I don't understand how it works. So it's like, I got 190, Dan's got 1 million, uh, Rico's got about 50, and Brandon's got 130. What's that, 1.2? Pretty good for, uh, you know, Pretty good. So scratching enough and clawing to 50. You know? So listen, like we say, you just, you want to evaluate us equally, then it's, the scoreboard settles itself. So, and if there's any other kind of question mark, I guess you could just look at. Uh -oh. Is that the hammer set? <laughs> dribble handoff. That's a dribble. He takes it here. He flashes. Up screen here. As he clears the lane, this guy goes. We're going to kick it out to here. Martin for the three. That's a fucking hammer set pick central. It's a hammer set. <laughs> Like,
wouldn't have designated practice time without alerting the opponent. Yeah, why don't you just go practice? Yeah, why wouldn't you? I'll go practice. I don't need to practice, actually. <laughs> I played Smitty, like, oh, Smitty asked me to play Warhol, because Smitty's playing uh, the first game. So I said, okay. Played Smitty. Now he's freaking out because he doesn't play anyone. It's like he can't just walk in there and do it himself. There's no rule against it. I played Smitty for 10 minutes. Um, we started to keep track and I was up 29 to 9 on him head to head, but I think like every single one of those games is like right down to the wire, but somehow I have the edge over him. I have like mental edge. Um, but you'll see. It's going to be really close, really tight. It's going to be a lot of yelling at each other, but I'm excited. I think it's going to be the best game of the day by far. Have you played Jake yet? I heard Jake is nice. I've beaten Jake. Oh, really? But he, I mean, well, he, no, no, no. He's beaten me way more times than I beat him, but I have beaten him. And it was like one of my greatest accomplishments in like sports because he's ridiculous. He plays he, like he's in tennis. He plays yeah, like he's playing a tennis game. But he can't play right now, right? Right, it, there's that, and that's why like Hank chose him to play because he wants the EZW. Or he wants the, the chance to beat beat he's him here. Against, he's playing against... Is he on like a scooter? No, he sprained his ankle. Yeah, but he's been on a scooter. Like, that's, yeah, he, he can't, can't walk. walk. Playing cake, so, uh, fucking cake marsh. Cool, yeah. Cakey cake. Uh, it was lined up before he sprained his ankle. Uh, some was saying that it was insensitive to me. I was there when he sprained his ankle. And I was called insensitive for asking him... This was like a week and a half ago. He sprained his ankle, was on the ground. Rithering in pain, and I was like, "Do you think it'll be good for next Wednesday?" Uh, after I did ask him if he was okay first, I was like, "Are you okay?" And he was like, "Yeah." And then I was like, "Are you gonna be good for next Monday?" So some say that's insensitive. I'm just, you know, trying to make sure I have an edge. I'm not gonna be like Billy football right now, but we've all had ankle injuries. Yeah, let's go. It's not broken. I'm not, I don't feel terrible, like he, he'll be fine. People have played through a lot worse. Hank's a bully. We're out playing tennis. My darling Jake twists his ankle, nearly snaps it in two. Hank runs over to him. First thing that he says is not, Jake, are you okay? Jake, can I help you up? Jake, did you break anything? First thing Hank says is, oh no, you have to play ping pong against me in a week and a half. Wow, that's a real shame. Immediately. First reaction. It really depends what percent he's at. I think he's at like 80%. Like an ankle injury, is, the, the ankle's a lot farther from the heart, whatever the fuck they say in here. <laughs> it's it? a hell of a long way from the heart. The Good ankle is a hell of a long way from the heart. Reason, okay? I'm excited. I'm Like I said, if Hank beats me, I'm no excuses. Like, I'm ready to play, <coughs> I'm ready to win. I, I played some scrimmages with PFT yesterday. It made more of an impact than I thought, but I don't think it hinders me from winning. I think I can still, do what I do. Um, it'll play a factor, but I'm, I'm gonna have a good chance to win. Hey, what's your confidence level? <clears throat> uh, what's less than zero? Absolute zero? Somewhere in between that and zero. Really? <laughs> Look, I'm an above average ping pong player in the office. I would say my level is above Jeff D. Low a little bit, but below the hubs. And I have not touched a paddle outside of today and shooting promo stuff since quarantine. PFT, one of the best players in the office before quarantine, and has played all during quarantine. So, hence the uh, in between absolute zero and zero. Yeah. But we'll see. You probably get waxed. You know, I'm prepared. I'm in a win win situation here. I'm not supposed to do well or be victorious. Me trying to do anything over the top will only not only hurt myself, but it will be unnecessary. Best revenge is victory. Alongside Jeff D. Lowe, I'm Jake Marsh. Thanks for taking some time on your Monday afternoon for a new week of stool streams. Very hard. Ah, there shit! It is. Oh. On the App Store. Oh. Pick up a point. Ah. <laughs> All right, that wasn't in the back. Jeff D. Lowe's come. Post Malone. It's very thick. Uh, uh, I'm just pathetic. Oh, you. Why? Wow. Five oh, serving one. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Oh, no. Figure it out. Wait, uh, 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 Frank, maybe picking it up a little bit. Six, four. Help Ooh. from the net. Oh. Side oh. going. Anger. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Hear what, Frank? Oh, delicate sure. flower. And for hubs especially. Frankie serve, remember? Oh, oh, oh. In oh. there. <sighs> See ya! Yeah. Oh. He was oh. tough for Frankie. To... Absolutely. Back to you guys. Frankie won game 120 sweep here. Uh.
Usually you go. pathetic! Slices yeah. back and here comes. Oh, oh, it's off one there. Ah, oh, I can't oh. find these. Oh. Come on! First ah. and ah. fifth. Ah. Ah. Round. Oh. 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 Moves oh. a bit to the right. Come on! 17. Oh. Ah. Come back! Holds on! There it is again! In a classic! Oh, oh my. Fascinating. Before I Frankie. Alright. Fra I mean, yep. <laughs> Hey, lead oh! forehand. Uh, the old ah! Henry. Uh, he's Come on, Henry! Henry. He's ah! pass it. Oh. Fuck me, Henry. Ah. Ah. Now you still oh. have a chance, Blaze. Come on! Cannon! Oh, okay. come on, you fuck! Pick up ah. ah! Shut up, Jake. Fuck. Ah. You got ah. there, oh, Pumping. Oh! Oh! Ah. Oh! Hey! I mean, it fucked me up. So like, I poured milk on my face, and now I have, like, fucking goals. milk caking up my fucking hair just to try and counteract this disgust. Like, it, I can usually handle almost everything that Vibs has. This one fucked me up. Uh, my name is Vibs, and I do the show Lowering the Bar. <laughs> I'm in hell. Come on, man. Come on. <sighs> Welcome to Lowering the Bar. I'm your host, Vibs. Lowering the Bar is a show where we go up to the Barstool Bar and just try whatever I bring into the office, which sometimes is pretty fun. Uh, sometimes it's just miserable. We are back, baby. And we are literally bringing the heat this week with the world's hottest gummy bear. The Gummy Bears was the worst one, and this was our first episode back in a very long time. And I don't know if people will do next week's episode. Like, we're going to have to think of something very easy. Like, I'm honestly thinking about doing a Sunday bar and giving them, like, a stuffed animal just for a week, just to make it easy on them, because they won't come back to the bar if we keep doing the Gummy Bear. That's how bad it was. Fucking, like, my stomach is just in a fucking knot right now. So just eat that fucking thing. Vibs... After I ate it, he was like, just so you know, if you have heart problems, you shouldn't have eaten that. If you get heartburn, you shouldn't have eaten that. And also, it's really going to fuck up your stomach for the rest of the day. And I was like, would have been good information 45 seconds ago. Ah, fuck off. Fuck yeah, off. It's instantly hot, right? Yep. Like, any time before right now would have been a good time to hear that. I mean, it's, it's really bad. It's, it's, it's really bad. It's really bad. I don't do this hot it's shit. Bad. I don't do like the hot ones. I don't. Did you throw up? No, I don't do anything. You look like absolute shit. Okay, Man, you could fucking dress that up a little bit. <laughs> yes. I feel bad for you. I mean, I feel like I feel absolutely awful. There's in the episode. There's, or uh, no, in the deleted scenes. There's one point where KFC's like, "Oh, well, Vibs is doing it with me, so it can't be that bad." And I was like, "No." It's that bad. I'm just doing it because I want you to do it for the camera. I'm drowning. <laughs> <laughs> I really want it. I mean, you can't do this anymore. Hot. We're not doing hot anymore. Yeah. Do it for the team. I'll do it for the team. You know when people say, like, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy? I wish this on Casey Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I like how like, everyone, every every person looks at me like, you look awful. Yeah, I fucking know. I look how I feel. Oh, 9,000. And um, he has the flu, apparently. Or the coronavirus. We're not really sure. It's 900 million times higher than a jalapeno. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure everyone's comprehensive. It's 900 million times hotter than a jalapeno. Ice is working. Ice, ice is working. Hold on. I think I'm going to catch up. Good. So ice is really, really working. Really <laughs> Bro, John, have you got, John, John, ice is working. I don't, my issue isn't like my mouth isn't spicy. My issue is my body is rejecting it. <laughs> piss my pants. <laughs> well, piss my pants. <laughs> I fucking pissed myself. <laughs> Yo, you ever eat something so hot you piss yourself? Because I just did. <laughs> you have lost full control of your body. Fuck you, Bibbs. Bibbs came back with a fucking vengeance.
Yeah, you got the, the bottom lip shake. That was happening to me on the second one. <laughs> I know the signs, man. You're there. <laughs> it hurts so hard to breathe. Holy shit, that's hot. Yeah. <laughs> it's not good. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't throw up or pee my pants, so I'm doing better than John and Kevin. That shit's no joke, though. No, oh, Frankie's about to do it? Am I gonna throw up? No, you're fine. It's no. easy, dude. I come back to this office and it's like I go back into Vibs' torture chamber. It's fucking crazy. Someone asked me if I look for, like, certain people, like, because they're gonna give me a good reaction. Frankie is someone I always go to just because Frankie wears his emotions on his sleeve and will tell you exactly how he's feeling. And Frankie, supposed to be an Italian, could not handle hot. It, if you're Italian and you're watching that, kind of embarrassing, probably. It's that fucking bad. How bad, though? Like, like undoable? Oh, it hurts to breathe. Do you have anything left to do today? No, um, yeah, I mean, I still got a little more work to do. It'll yeah. be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I don't feel like shitting my pants. That's the only thing. <laughs> I don't want to shit my pants. I don't want to do this at all. Yeah. What's it? Does your dad have like spicy pepperonis at the restaurant? Yeah. And, like, yeah. Stuff? Well, like, yeah, we have a couple of them. Like, it's an option. Do you? So you don't eat that? No. You are at stingers? No, I don't eat no. spice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Drink some milk, it's Frankie. So <laughs> You're at 100. You were at. You started at 85. You're at a <laughs> Yo, what the fuck, Frankie? Oh, Come on, bro. You can do better than that, dude. Come on. 115. Ah! Ice is really gonna help the tongue. I, I don't know about the rest. Did you eat it? You spit it out. I ate half of it. I went right down the back of my throat. I hit the back. Oh, that's hit that thing that dangled in the back of your throat. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we play the game, though. <laughs> Spewing moments like that. that the worst it's ever happened. Yeah. <laughs> when, when it was happening, I thought. How bad is when you breathe out? My tongue. I th there was a, like I'm starting to get better with this ice. The ice changes me. I thought I was going to die. This episode of Stool Scenes is brought to you by BlockFi. The best place to buy and hold cryptocurrency is BlockFi. It's simple, and you don't have to worry about any of the weird technology stuff. Just download the app and fund your account with a wire, and then you can buy Bitcoin. BlockFi is an easy to use, quick and intuitive platform available on the web and as a mobile app. It's the best place to buy and hold cryptocurrency. There are no hidden fees in a BlockFi interest account and you can earn up to 6% yearly interest on your on your Bitcoin by holding your crypto in BlockFi and up to 8.6% yearly interest on other coins. It isn't sketchy. It's backed by folks like Winklevoss Capital, Coinbase, and big venture capital investors. And it follows fast trading across a wide range of cryptocurrencies. And only BlockFi lets you earn interest immediately after a trade is placed. BlockFi is committed to trust and transparency too, and its services comply with the comprehensive state and federal regulations. For a limited time, you could earn a bonus of $25 in Bitcoin when you open a new account. Just go to try dot blockfi dot com slash stool to get started today that's try dot blockfi dot com slash stool great job pft thanks jeff what's up yo what's up you're a pft right of yeah. course you're on a rod oh, i'm here a rod what do i call you whatever you want brother let me see are we doing are we i like those ones i actually have those ones did you win those on the they were on the sneakers yeah. they just showed up at the house right? really oh wow this is awesome. Billy, this is our, A-Rod, this is our intern, Billy. What's up, Billy? He's Hi, a huge Yankee fan. All right. And so is Jake, actually, too. Have you met right? A-Rod? Jake, how you doing, uh, brother? No. Okay, yeah, Jake is, Jake is actually, if you're outside. still calling games in 20 years, Jake will be sitting next to you. I love it. He's a Syracuse grad. So I sit here or I sit there? Sit, sit on the couch. Yeah, yeah that's for Billy's very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> in 20 years, Jake will be calling the games, and then Billy will be refilling the Diet Coke. <laughs> Good job. Come, Come yeah, inside and then shut the door. Oh what God. are you doing? He's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna miss the whole. He just shut himself out of the room. Yeah. yeah. Billy! You forgot which side of the door to be on. Billy! <laughs> come, come inside, then shut the door. I didn't know if I was allowed in. <laughs> oh, I didn't know who I was bringing the chairs in for. Oh, oh my God. I love you, Billy. All right. You're good to go? All right, let's do it. Billy, where are you from? I'm from New York. Where'd you go to college? I go to Williams College in Massachusetts. He hasn't are finished you nervous? yet. 
I'm pretty nervous. Yeah. Williams College, is you, you, got, you must be really smart. <laughs> Economics? Finances? Uh, yeah, I'm actually a political economy major there. <laughs> What's your dream job? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> are you nervous? I'm very nervous. How old are you? I'm 21. Are you single? No. Billy, not single. Go. Okay. Uh, A-Rod Corp has a very diverse portfolio of investments, ranging from UFC licensed gyms, car dealerships, as well as real estate. What factors do you look for when you're investing in assets? And what is the common denominator between all of them? What the f what? That was a real question. Great, great question. What the hell? Great question, Billy. <laughs> I feel like I, I'm on CNBC. Right? Yeah. yeah. Great it's question, box. Billy. Squad really cool. box. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Um, first of all, we like three things. We like things that we understand really well. Mm -hmm. We like things that we can bring more than just capital and things that we're really, really passionate about, like Presidente would be a great one. Um, and then we like great people to manage these businesses. So like in baseball, we like playmakers. In business, we like playmakers. All right, any other, oh, Jake, did you have anything you want to say? Jake's a huge Yankee fan as well. Jake, where are you from? How's it going, Alex? I'm a fellow South Florida guy from Weston. Yeah, Weston. Yeah. What, what high school? Cypress Bay. What college? Uh, Syracuse. Finance. Dale, ever hear What's about it? it? Broadcast. Broadcast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Favorite announcer of all time? Mike Tirico. And what do you, how do you feel about Michael K? I grew up a Yankee fan like Big Cat mentioned, so I've grown to love him. Um, I could see how some people have an issue with him having a talk show and offering maybe too many opinions as a play-by-play -play guy on the call, but I like him. And lot. Jack Buck? I mean Joe Buck? Love Joe Buck. Okay, cool. Well. What's your question? Um, so, on that note, as a Analyst, what are you looking for as a play-by-play -play guy to make your job easiest? Ah, great question. I, I think we're looking for just, first of all, chemistry uh, in someone who is selfless that wants to put you in a position to win. It's like anything else in sports. What made Magic Johnson so great? I mean, he would just pass the ball and you would dunk it. He'd put you in a position to win. Um, I think that's what uh, Joe Buck or Matt Vasgersian does so well, Kevin Burkhart. Thanks, man. That was fantastic. That was awesome. Funny. That was fun. Yeah. Billy, good question. Great question. Yeah, hey, you guys so killed Jake, it, man. That was awesome. Yeah. That was, I mean, he's a Yankees legend. Right? the best question oh. anybody asked. Ate my Wheaties today. There you go. Were you impressed? PFT? Very impressed. I, I don't know who wrote that for Billy, who he paid to write it, but <laughs> uh, whoever it is, go back to them again, Billy. <laughs> like, I need my hairstyle. Which one to the right? The one to the right. This one's closer to me. You think that's better? <laughs> <laughs> that's not you either. That's secret. <laughs> All right, you got to pick that one. What about this? What about this? This is fire. <laughs> you look like Cousin Anthony. <laughs> But this is, it's either this. Yeah, it's that one. That's not bad. Why don't you wear a hat, dude? I, oh, that's the one. I thought you got some one. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, okay. You should wear a hat. Yeah, I guess that kind of takes it all. Yeah, that makes the most sense. I'll put a hat on. Makes me think I should be wearing a hat right now. So you guys make it easier yourselves for the stream? Yeah, the problem is, is that can you, like now Trent's Can you guys look away when I do weight? <laughs> can you guys look away when I do weight? Trent's got to make himself do, like, become a little round. Everybody <laughs> close your eyes. Close, close your eyes, everybody in the room. Close your eyes. Let's right. do post-diet, though. Why don't you do it at your best, your most elliptical days? I'm not looking. Bro, you look like Nate. Okay. I like, weighed myself like, this morning. Like a pro DN. <laughs> right, so I sit behind my computer all day. I just eat food and I don't move. 261 pounds, 71 inches tall. That's what it is. All right. I'm stocky. Let's fuck yeah, that face now. I mean, you're gonna drive the fuck out of the ball too. Yeah, true. You're gonna smash the ball. What? What I do mean, you the, think? The brows. Looks, your, what do you your think? Your eyebrows are not black. What needs no, the most work? You you need blonde eyebrows. You need to get rid of those uh, black eyes. Facial hairstyle. That would be weird. This is my. It looks like makeup. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. Just change the color. <laughs> you think this is it? Oh, no, no, no. There's gotta be another one. What about the bottom for the second one? Right into the saloon. Fuck me. Dude, that's what it looks like. He's got, like, not the full goatee, but, like. like you, ma <laughs> you make that. <laughs> you make that shit fly. Look at that. That's what I aspire to. No, that's, that's what, you. That's this you. This is what Frankie looks. This is what he sees in the mirror in the morning. He's like, this is what I look like. We're, we're right on the edge of, like, light brown and yellow. I think that's good. That's all right. That doesn't look too bad. Yeah, check that out. People are gonna love that. Let me see this. Let me see this. No, I'm just trying to get. I'm trying to get a better view. Yeah. No, I. It's blonde. 
This is closer to you than. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, <laughs> well, now wait. What do I? Now you just now you just fucking with it. Do I know what? Do I know what I look like? Because I don't know if I look like. No, that. Frankie's clowning. Those it doesn't look, look that bad. No, I think that looks good. Yeah. I'm in. I, I'm into that. Get the glasses and get and see how it looks. I want to put. I gotta do like a, a black top and khakis. That'll make it look. That then we'll be home free. Yes. You know what I mean? Uh, yes. How do I do uh, apparel? Parents. So I think clothing. clothing. Okay. Let's go, Trent. Okay. Let's go. Let's put some glasses. Yes. On. Yes. No, we need a. We need. We need full frame. Yeah. What are these rectangles? Yeah. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, the rectangles. You go down. Yeah, 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 yeah. One below that. One below that. Uh, I see it right there. That bottom right one. Or that one. Oh, shit. I like it. <laughs> it is. I think I go, go right. How about this? Look at this. Uh, Alright, click on that. Yeah. 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 Look at that. Yeah, look at that right there. <laughs> I got my eyes. <laughs> I got my eyes on him. I saw Look at this guy. Woo! Look at this guy. Wow. I think we made a lot of progress. At first, it did not look like that. I've always said make your video game character a little bit uglier than you, so when people meet you in person, they're pleasantly surprised. I like that. That's I think I mission accomplished. You have always said that. <laughs> I always, always say Can't that. stop this guy from saying it. I have a tattoo of that. Now, I don't want to have to do this, but do you want to fuck around with your facial features, the bones? He looks so much like Frankie. <laughs> I just did generic one on all the features. You look like Alan Waters. <laughs> oh fuck, tell me I just fucked up. Tell me my guy is saved. Okay. The boys! <laughs> the boys! Getting ready for, for some golf. The moon. <laughs> what are you doing? What the are you doing? Why are you doing this? Why does it look like my chin is attached to my neck? <laughs> Bro, that's how I did mine. You, you should lengthen the goatee a bit, because he's got a little fuzz. I don't know if you can. I don't know about the jowls. How are can you make this the jowls? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh no 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 no! That's too foul, Frankie. Yeah, no, I don't look like that. Oh, that, look, that looks like me. Like, look here, look at this. See? <laughs> Whoa. Stay there. Okay. <laughs> pretty. That's pretty fucking good. I've never seen you without your glasses on. This is bad. It's right? like looking at the sun. I just like. I'm not you bad throw up just now. <laughs> no, I just feel bad for laughing. I just no. It's just shocking because I always. This is, why, this is I wake up in the morning. I'm like, what? That's you don't look it. bad. I just I'm so used Dude, to. Uh, your I think your his jaw sticks. His jaw is, uh, sticks out a little bit more than this guy's jaw. You have a more protruding. Yeah. Jaw no. Than he's got a. Right, so I've, I've been trying to find how how to push it out. Yeah. Like is the jaw depth? So maybe I go to zero on this, but then that gives him like. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. It looks like a Neanderthal it's now. Like more, it's more of a... Is it the chin length? No, that goes down. Chin width that goes wide. So there's no chin depth. <laughs> oh, I think it was this. Look, it was that. See how uh, we're seeing a little more nostril up? now? Yeah, a little more nostril. Up? That's nice. We're seeing a little more now. Trent looks unrecognizable with those glasses on. Yeah. Damn. Oh, that was trippy. You guys just turned at the same time. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think it's pretty. This thing is pretty fucking close. Yeah. I think. I, yeah, I think that looks good. Let's see that full body again. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good, man. Yeah. All right, let's save it. All right. Now let's do rigs. You look like a tech guy. You look like a billionaire. I'm a tiger. Holy fuck! It's like, oh my god, that's crazy. I was just standing over there speechless. Like, I feel like I, I need to like put it in a safe. That's Tiger Woods. That's nuts. Let me see you guys. Well, this is Frankie. Yep. <laughs> we made them all. We made everybody. Okay. I mean, I imagine seeing me. That's it's me. Gotta be. That's, I feel like you look better than that, Trent. Oh wow. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, I look mean. Right? Yeah. I mean, come on, how much better, how many... <laughs> it's pretty fucking good. I mean, they'll know too, because we just look like us. Great. <laughs> Those are great. Are you guys just playing around, like... Yeah. Like a scramble with each other? No, we're playing 18 holes, stroke play, best score, plays at Wingfoot next Oh, yeah, week. I don't know why I said, yeah, what you said it was wrong. You were wrong. There's, because we only got one media day, you know, credential for media day to play Wingfoot, so we're playing for that because there's one spot at Wingfoot Tuesday for US Open Media Day. So like three weeks before the US Open, you get to play Wingfoot. Winner of tonight's round goes to Wingfoot. That's pretty fucking serious. I mean, 
That's like a bucket list. You get to play fucking wing foot right before the US Open. Spin, 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 that spin. That was an iron for the middle of the fairway. Spin! Yes, sir! TPC Boston is too nasty. That was an iron for the is middle of the fairway. Oh my goodness, go in the bunker. Who just hit the that door point? has opened, fellas. The door has oh, been open. Now? He's going for par from the bunker. That is so controlled. That's a great putt. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. That's well done. Wow. It has to go in the hole. I pushed it, didn't I? <gasps> oh, oh my god! You had a couple of bullshit makes How does that that not sense. go in. No, I, I, I just laid it up. I couldn't. I, yeah, you had to lay up. And I went to a bunker. <laughs> hey, come on! How how annoying is that when you lay something up and you have like, more trouble? Smart shot. Here. Smart fucking, shot. Yeah. Here. Oh, I'm just gonna fucking smooth the seven up there, no problem. <laughs> and you end up in a fucking bunker. Going for it with the lead. You killed him. <laughs> Killed us. Lurch killed us. He's dancing on He us. took four swings before we started. He had never played before. And then he found something. What hole did he find something? Like five or six, dude. I was like, oh. And then he was just nailed. I figured out the pull draw. Like that I could just take it back slowly and take the right side of the golf course away and just slam it forward and you just get a little Shut pull draw. Fuck. Someone said I'm physically ill that Lurch just won. <laughs> I'm gonna get. Oh God, I don't. This the camera's coming out makes it a little too real. <laughs> Dude, if you're gonna do this, you gotta use the camera. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get some promo out there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna fucking join OnlyFans and post my dick and fuck things. <laughs> <laughs> the things. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like I'm gonna start. The first thing I fuck is gonna be a pineapple, and then after that, by the I'm way, gonna, you had that started. on deck a little too quick. Right? I, I don't know why. About fucking pineapple. <laughs> I was right away. I was like, about fucking pineapples, buddy. No, if I had to fuck something that wasn't a human pineapple, for sure. I, think, I would for sure fuck a watermelon. <laughs> pineapple seems like it's still my hurdle. Yeah, <laughs> watermelon's nice and fleshy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was gonna piss Casey off. <laughs> well, I guess it was just fights fucks fruit. That's pretty alliterative there too. Yeah, then you're yeah. limiting yourself. I don't, I don't want to limit myself. <laughs> to just fruit? Yeah. I'm going to tweet out right now, like, how many people do you think, and I'll say, I'll say, over or under 10,000. That's a dangerous game if you get a lot of people say that. Yeah. Subscribe. Oh, I gotta start eating more salads. <laughs> started, and... Imagine the pressure, fans. though, on that first... Oh. First hammer pick. I mean, you would have to post someone else's dick right away. Huh? You'd have to post someone else's dick no, first. No, I just chop myself up. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta chug yourself to the fucking moon, bro. Started in only fans. I just, I just photoshopped he it. Showed his dick <laughs> and fucked inanimate <laughs> objects. How many? How much would you charge? Um, I do something crazy, like seven fifty-three. Okay, okay. I like that. That's a good number. Inanimate <laughs> objects. How many subscribers would he get at? Seven dollars and fifty-three cents per <laughs> month, and I'm just gonna say I'm gonna say ten thousand less, more more or less than ten thousand. Yeah, bro, it's sixty forty under ten k, but that means forty percent of my followers think it would be over ten thousand subscribers at seven dollars and fifty-three cents. We're talking about seventy-five thousand three hundred dollars a month for fights to yo, fuck stuff. Yo, I'm gonna tell you what, if we got anywhere near that, this podcast would be fucking over. Peace. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Yo, I got my fucking. I don't. I don't have to talk for two hours anymore. I can just fuck fruit at <laughs> home in, in ten minutes. Bro, I'd have a strawberry fucking me, fast. <laughs> <laughs> if, that, if that's what the kink was of my fans, I will fucking. I'll go Lana Rose. Somebody had a good point. They said heartbeat. once, once the like once Asia catches wind of this, you'll be a fucking billionaire. <laughs> you got to get in that weird kink community. <laughs>
and hopefully I'll get some content out of it too. I have no idea what to expect. I've heard that the Chicago office is, is very humble compared to what we have in New York. Uh, they're, they're kind of a bare bones operation, salt of the earth. And I'm a salt of the earth guy, so I feel like I should mesh pretty well. Farmers insurance. We got tough doors. How's it going, man? How's it going? So, this is the crib. This is it. We got tough doors here. I apologize. Nice. It's cozy. I mean, I guess it's kind of hard to social distance in here. Oh, Donnie, hey. what's going on? What's up, Chief? How you doing? It's good to see you. <laughs> good to see you, too. What? Hey, Stash. how are you? Hey, hey. How are you, bud? It's good to see you. Good to see you. All right, we're about to do the Barstool Stash Chicago snake draft. Oh, there you where, oh, yeah, it's, it's a snake draft, hot but they choose an oh, overall right. category and then five subcategories. Yeah. Today, because I'm the foreign correspondent, we're doing uh, foreign as the main category, and then we got to choose a foreign athlete, a foreign travel destination, a foreign actor or actress a foreign cuisine, and then a miscellaneous foreign thing. Let's go travel destination, Croatia. I like the pick. I mean, I, I took Tony Kukoc in the second round. Like, don't, t don't think I'm distant from the Croatia pick here at all. I love it. First day in the books at the Chicago office. Just uh, another day at the insurance firm. We sold a lot of insurance today, boys. I'm proud of you, Dave. Proud of you. Thanks for coming out. closed a lot of deals. We are. We're going out back, I guess. Oh, we're going out We're going to the alley. That's oh. how we do it. We don't have parking lots in the Chicago office. Okay. Lights out. Lights out, yeah. As you'll see behind me, that is Wrigley Field. We got a view of the whole field. We will be watching the game today. And you're probably wondering, what? I thought no fans. Well, Dante, local legend, uh, he was like, some people watch the games from these rooftop bars around Wrigley Field. But the tickets are like 250 bucks a pop. I was like, yeah, we can't expense that. Uh, it's not really worth it. I'm not even a Cubs fan. But then he was like, you know what? I think I know a guy. Let me try to pull some strings. And voila. All you can drink, all you can eat, and a beautiful view of a baseball game. Not gonna lie, I feel pretty special because like no one else in the entire U.S. is watching baseball live these days. Maybe live on TV, but not at the stadium. This is nice. Look at this. Guys, guys, we are on the verge. This is like a cup a worm. Cup this is like a cup worm. We throw in three more cups. That's an official cup uh, snake. Look how many, oh, look how many we have. Go, oh, let's fucking go. Call my buddy, I'm a little lethargic up in the stands. I need a song request. Hey Dante, can we get New Level by ASAP Ferg and Future? Can you do that? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's on. This is just unreal service. I just was able to request a song at a Major League Baseball game. I, I can't even request a song at fucking DJ song Long Island. Is that what is that what Rico's Club is called? Jersey. Oh, Jersey, whatever. I don't I never go to that club. That club sucks. But uh yeah. This is unreal. Dude, I try requesting a song at a wedding. They're like, fuck off, dude. Maybe slow down on the vodka sodas. Right now, just easy. One call, just playing it. So here in the Triple S Stoolstream Stadium, we're trying to develop some new games, figure out uh, new things we can get into the app. Marble racing, you know, people always talk about it. They always, you know, tweet us like, do marble racing, do marble racing. Uh, so we decided to try it. Obviously, you just have to build it yourself, so, and the interns around here do nothing except for sit in the gambling cave all day and, and talk shit. So, I was like, Billy, I, I was like, Billy, you and the interns, I didn't say you're gonna be in charge of the interns, I was like, you and the interns, because Billy is an intern, so I thought it was just gonna be like a group project. Uh, I was like, you and the interns go in the Soulstream studio, build the marble racing, uh, and like test it out, make sure that it's like evenly done or whatever. And then I told Spider, who is not an intern and is somewhat of like a, you know, overseer. I was like, just make sure, you know, everything's going well. Uh, I came into the studio and Billy and Spider were just 
screaming at the interns. They, they were talking in the mics like it was a live broadcast. Interns were like reacting like it was a live broadcast. And then, I don't know her name. What's her name? Dev. Dev was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like, I, I didn't mean to do it. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. She's like, you've been, have you been talking to me in the control room for the last half an hour? I was like, I literally just walked in the door. And then Billy had like his little smirk on his face like, yeah, we've kind of been telling them just like that you were in the in the control room the whole time. <laughs> Billy's a menace. He's an absolute menace. Uh, if he has no supervision, he's just gonna. Who knows what's gonna happen with that kid? Some side to side. This action. is harder than the six T's. I'm just this terrible. Is, <laughs> I am not a right, cop. Where, where's one of the side to side guys? We, we need a loopy loop right here. You guys Fuck. assemble one tower. You guys assemble the other, and this will be the start. And then we'll connect two towers from here. And you can incorporate that. All right. Uh, yeah, you're right. And why don't we get something so it can all connects back here? You need to connect these to this, right? Um, we this is so high. <laughs> let's just assemble one this thing. This is gonna take way longer. No, than let's that. just assemble like, something solid, and then from there we can add clues. This needs another piece. This is gonna like you see how it's like all. I'm chilling. <laughs> We're totally <laughs> chilling. <on. laughs> yeah. We're chilling. <laughs> yeah, and we heard some of the intros for uh, our contestants today. Why don't we continue? There's still two to be introduced. Ready? Oh my god! No! 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 They are both the slower route into the dish for both of them. Go! 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 Get there second. Get there second. Oh, motherfucker. Down in second. He cheated. Oh, Bonnie at the end. Woo! Shit. And funny as last. Lightning. We actually, guys, you have to Fourth place? I don't know. Towards the end. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so you can't just go on. Just, just don't it's stand. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna run it again. Run we're it run it again. Are we ready? To what, what's the order? I mean, this is a this is a well, obviously I mean, I a trial. Like this probably movie. won't be. Uh, I mean, no, they're recording this, but they're testing out the angles. Right? Right. Right. You know when they, yeah. So you're actually serious. You guys are standing. But you're like, like, like we're not going to do the real one. Jake Marsh is going to We also here. wanted to test the hard. integrity oh. of the And also we need to build it. Right. You know, we need to do all the tests. I just thought... No, like the camera, the camera. Like, where's Ashton Kutcher? Like, I feel like Ashton what? Kutcher's going to come out and be like, you guys just got... It, it really does feel like a big puck, I will be honest. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think... I think Ari, if, would Arya be yeah. here if yeah. we were fucking with him? Yes! No. <laughs> like, Arya be here? The next thing they think they'll be fucked with him. What? Come on, let me in. Get in, get in! Go in there! Beat him! With the yeah, beat him! Fuck you! Beat him! Let's go! Blue, lightning, silver, surfer, Zack in red, and... Okay. Yes, yes. Last place every time. Though. I'm so sorry. We thought that was fake. <laughs> what do you mean? When we kept laughing. Yeah, when I kept laughing. We didn't laughing. know that you were like doing the video stuff, so we kept like. Yeah, we talking. We thought. <laughs> I just got it. Oh Are you God. fucking with us? Yeah. Yeah, we didn't fucking with you. <laughs> oh my God. The moment I walked in, I said that. I said that. It's so a one race. Not entering the room. One race. One so what? I got a victory. I got the first yeah. victory, right? Yeah, like, we literally just, we, yeah, no. we just, we just, we were recording. They literally told me that you were, like, you were saying that I was being fucking annoying, and I kept laughing, and I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Yeah, 